Spicy Number Hit Squad, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Now. Welcome back to Hit Squad. Hell yeah. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys. Hey, if you're having a rough day out there, let's turn around right now with some good energy and some good content, guys. All right? So, my lovely wife, who we have today, baby? Okay. Got? So, today we'll be reacting to Facts About Slavery Never Mentioned in School, Thomas Soul. Whoa, Nelly. Wow. You guys sent this to this us. This was highly requested, guys. All Most right? definitely. So, I can't wait to dive into it. But first, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell so you guys be notified. And we appreciate the support and the love, guys. We thank you so much. Most definitely. Here we go. Good energy, you good content. I'm excited about this because I didn't learn too much about slavery in school. Well, I'm very both. ignorant when it comes to this topic. Um, and I'm from the inner city of Baltimore, Maryland. So. Yes, like, Seriously, guys. It, it just it's wasn't sad to say, but we didn't learn. This. I mean, they, they told us about the war. We didn't stuff learn like that, about but, it. So. Nah, they wasn't really giving us um, insight on it. Here we go. Wow, black rednecks and white liberals. That's, That's a book. Crazy. Okay. The instrumental use of the history of slavery today also underlies the claim that slavery grew out of racism. For most of its long history, which includes most of the history of the human race, slavery was largely not the enslavement of racially different people, for the simple reason that only in recent centuries has either the technology or the wealth existed to go to another continent to get slaves and transport them en masse across an ocean. People were enslaved because they were vulnerable, not because of how they looked. The peoples of the Balkans were enslaved by fellow Europeans, as well as by the peoples of the Middle East, for at least six centuries before the first African was brought to the Western Hemisphere. Wow! Before the modern era, by and large, Europeans enslaved other Europeans, Asians enslaved other Asians, Africans enslaved other Africans, and the indigenous peoples of the Western Hemisphere enslaved other indigenous peoples of the Western Hemisphere. Slavery was not based on race, much less on theories about race. Only relatively late in history did enslavement across racial lines occur on such a scale as to promote an ideology of racism that outlasted the institution of slavery itself. Wow. Wherever a separate people were enslaved, they were disdained or despised, whether they were different by country, religion, caste, race, or tribe. In East Africa, the Maasai were feared slave raiders, and other African tribes, either alone or in conjunction with Arabs, enslaved their more vulnerable neighbors. As late as 1891, it was reported that Manuema slavers had demoralized surrounding tribes, destroying crops, and famine reigned everywhere. Even in the early 20th century, Abyssinians were still raiding other Africans and carrying off slaves. It was 1922 before the British had gained sufficient control in Tanganyika to stamp out slavery there. Arabs were the leading slave raiders in East Africa, ranging over an area larger than all of Europe. The total number of slaves exported from East Africa during the 19th century has been estimated to be at least 2 million. Wow. The form in which wow. the story of slavery has reached most people today has been along the lines of the best-selling book and widely watched television miniseries, Roots, by Alex Haley. Okay. Challenged on the historical accuracy of Roots, Haley said, I tried to give my people a myth to live by. This instrumental use what? of history, or purported history, is open to the same objections as other instrumental myth-making. Despite wow. the impression so created by Ruth. I thought the whole time was a, I thought that was a tree. Because it's so long, you would think that it was based on, you know, I mean, the facts. The whole Kuta Kinte thing and chopping off his foot and stuff like that. Wow, this is disappointing. Man, I want to go back to school. This is so Take me to school. Here we go. Take me to school. During the era of the massive slave trade from West Africa, a white man was more likely to catch malaria in Africa than to catch slaves himself. 
The average life expectancy of a white man in the interior of sub-Saharan Africa at that time was less than one year. <gasps> By and large, what? men from Europe or the Western Hemisphere came to the coasts of Africa, bought their slaves, and left as soon as possible. Wow! Even so, the... So they, they, they lied like to us. Limit. They were only coming to the, clo the coast of Africa to purchase the slaves. They did right not back. invade Africa and take um, Africans and bring them. It was, it was like a market to America. You go shop, get get your get your get your slaves or whatever. Then you go back. Yeah, but they were. But they made it. To Africans see were selling these people right. off like a market. Right. This is crazy. Like we weren't taught this. This is like very disappointing. Oh my gosh! Now it shades my like like my whole perception on the sleep. Like there yeah. is so much hatred. It's so many untold secrets. Truth. Yes, and stuff definitely. that you know that need to be out in the forefront. Here so many guys. people hate white people because they thought that they came over and invaded, invaded and, and they took their country. What they want to take. And I'm going to do this and Took I'm going to do them that. them and it was a business, basically. They weren't even coming anywhere into the country. They were, like, on the coast. They like, probably was invited. Probably waiting, say, you know like, on the sidelines, like, let me purchase my property. You this know, let sad. me purchase slaves so this I can get them over here working. Here we go, guys. This is sad. Not yeah. saying Death rates right, among the white. If, right. if, you know, that's what the business was back then. It's a business. Here we go. Crews of the ships carrying slaves to the Western Hemisphere were as high as the death rates among the slaves themselves. It was only much later, after quinine and other medical measures enabled Europeans to survive where there were tropical diseases, was it possible for them to invade Africa in force and establish empires there. But by then, the Atlantic slave trade had already been ended. During the era of that trade, Africa was largely ruled by Africans, who established the conditions under which slave sales took place. The crew of a slave ship was in no position to defy African rulers and their armies by going out across the land and capturing people willy-nilly. The stronger African peoples captured and enslaved the weaker peoples. The same pattern found over the centuries in Europe, Asia, the Western Hemisphere, and Polynesia. In Yasa land, the Ngoni and Yao swaggered over and terrorized other tribes. In Uganda, the Baganda made life miserable for their neighbors. And the Nioro and Hima of Anko enslaved Toro women and children. The Tutsi dominated the Hutu in Rwanda. The Maasai lorded it over the Kikuyu and Kamba. And the latter, in turn, held the Indorobo in a kind of serfdom. It was precisely the fact that Europeans, except for the Portuguese, seldom participated in the raids that captured and enslaved Africans that enabled most people in Europe and the Americas to remain oblivious to the traumatic experience that this was, with some Africans committing suicide to avoid capture and wives being whipped as they tried to cling to their husbands or children. Historian David Brian Davis pointed out that Europeans had little contact with the actual process of enslavement, and wow. that as late as 1721, the Royal African Company asked its agents to investigate the modes of enslavement in the interior. Europeans typically saw only the end results, enslaved wow. people being offered for sale on the coast. It was much the same story in the Ottoman Empire, where those who bought slaves had no idea what these slaves had been through before. The unique position wow. of the Western world in the history, and especially the destruction of slavery, need not imply that there was unanimity within the West on this institution. In addition to whites who defended the enslavement of Africans on racial grounds, or who opposed general emancipation on social grounds, there were many whites and even blacks, who defended slavery as a matter of self-interest as slave owners. Okay. Although most black owners of slaves in the United States were only nominal owners of members of their own families, oh, there were thousands of other blacks in the antebellum South who were commercial slave owners, just like their white counterparts. Whoa. An estimated one-third of the free persons of color in New Orleans were slave owners, and thousands of these slave owners volunteered to fight for the Confederacy during the Civil War. Wait a minute. Uh -uh. So you mean to tell me that black people were slave owners? They were slave owners. 
and they were selling them off. This is horrible. Like, why didn't we learn about this? The, it's like the truth will definitely set you free. Like, we deserve to hear the truth. To try to figure out some things because some things. Why just did off. they make it seem like it was just a black and white issue? It seems like we didn't really discuss the 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 facts in school. They didn't tell us the facts. They made it seem like white people are just these evil slave owner people, and and this is. But you'll never hear from. them talk about black people owning slaves. Never heard it. Up until now. Wow. This, this is my is first like, time like really hearing like what? Are you serious? This is disappointing. This information is so valuable right now because you know I'm eager to learn. I'm, I'm, I I want to learn. I want to know. And I think that we deserve to hear the truth. Here we go, guys. This is this is just black crazy. slave owners were even more common in the Caribbean. In short, there were many defenders of slavery in the West even in the 19th century. And outside the West, slavery was too widely accepted to require defense. No other nation ended slavery in the same way as the United States did, and few ended it after so short a struggle, as history is measured. Wow. How and why did slavery end in most of the world? There were two major processes. Over the centuries, as more and more territories around the world consolidated into nation-states with their own armies and navies, raiding those territories to capture and enslave the people who lived within them became more hazardous in itself and also risked military retaliation against the countries from which the raiders came. Thus, more and more peoples became off-limits to slave raiders over time. Put differently, the areas which remained subject to slave raiding over the centuries were primarily those where the people lived in smaller or weaker societies. Such societies continued to exist where it was difficult, for geographic or other reasons, to consolidate large areas under one government. This was true of the Balkans, the backwaters of Asia, and much of sub-Saharan Africa. By the early modern era, sub-Saharan Africa, with its numerous and severe geographic handicaps, was one of the last remaining areas from which vast numbers of people could be enslaved. Well, I be darn. Woo! That was a handful. Well, right I there. be darn. So, slavery was everywhere. Asia. I cannot Africa, believe this. Europeans. We were told everywhere. so many lies. Our children have been told so many lies. Our grandparents were told so many lies. And this was not in our schools. This is horrible. They didn't speak of this not one time. This should be a lawsuit. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, what is going the on The education here? system has failed us all. Some of you us. You guys. Because. Well, some of us. I'm um, saying, like, the inner city education system. Exactly. Most it, definitely. It, it just wasn't a lesson on this. It, I mean... You guys made us to believe for years that white people started slavery and they charged over into the country, the That's continent the story, yeah. of Africa, and they stole our people. And they were just taking boats of people, just taking them and just, you know, putting when them the on the boats. And the then truth of the matter is, they couldn't even survive over there. Not even a year. It was Africans. Who were they were the masterminds behind selling right. their own people. Their own people, the vulnerable people, the people that's you know, sell them off so we can get these things in wow. return. And then in America, you have black slave owners. They Ain't they made something. us to believe that blacks Did you say Louisiana or something like that? Yeah, but they they made us to believe that black slave owners were only buying their family members back. But that's not true. They were like, wow. they were owning them the same way as their U European counterparts. Like, wow, this is so deep. Oh my god, this gosh. is deep. And you know, I want to get into more videos. This is sad because it's like when you think of it, European people had to take like the hit for everything.
Yeah, like they, they were the like, fall guy. Like they were the masterminds. Like they were in charge. I mean, they were doing this in Asia. And the whole time was just some Africa, Europe, everywhere. It was. It was. It was. It was. It, really it, it was a part of life back then. Like, like they needed slaves to build thing. up their countries. And... Yeah. Wow, guys. This is some important information, guys. They um, made it seem like... Ooh, this is deep. This is really deep. We were just... So but now I, 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 I really feel like the truth is coming out. By you Europeans. Know, it's coming out. We're going to do our, our And our we were research. the only ones who were being... You know, put into the slavery system. Yeah, like that. That we were the skin, only right? ones that were enslaved, and that's not true. Oh, I, I'm just, I'm so disappointed. The same people that's getting all this backlash was the ones that ended slavery here. So yeah. something's not adding up, guys. Like, what the hell is going on here? Oh, we're learning. We are learning. Yeah, we Thank you guys learn. for sending us these videos. Absolutely. You are truly helping to educate us because, like I say, we're from Baltimore City. And I'm not saying that everyone from Baltimore City, you know, is ignorant about these topics, but... Just wasn't told the right things, man. We are from the inner city, so... They, they, they did put Our it education books. system has definitely failed us. They didn't put it on the chalkboards. They did not teach us these, these things. No. And we never learned this in our world right history classes. Learn these things, yeah. We learned about other things that didn't even that wasn't even relevant. Like, uh, doesn't really make sense to me. Um, it doesn't add up. But we're gonna do our research, guys. Thank you for sending this over. If you have any more, send it to us. Send it on over, baby. Thank you. We appreciate the love and thank you for watching, guys. All right, here's your boy Sean and your girl. Love the pieces. Bye. I love you more, babe. We love, love you, guys. you guys. Have an amazing day on purpose. Peace. Peace.